you know, I, I, I made a decision, this decision in February, and uh, I think it was the right decision for me at that time. You know, there's things I know I'm gonna miss about it, uh, but I think it's the right thing for me right now. I remember early on, just early, early, shoot, right when you got the job, early conversations were, it was, we kind of think the same about the football mm -hmm. in general. The same way to sum it up was, I don't know, look out there, the guy's open, just throw the ball. You know, I mean, and I kind of was like, yeah, I don't know, I don't, what coverage this, 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 the guy's standing out there open, throw it to him. People make it uh, way too complicated, and there are some, I think what Philip Sutton said, there's some common sense elements to it, and you have a progression, and sometimes Common sense overrides the progression. I can't keep that. <laughs> Hallie, Hallie's high school. Every other year. Hallie had first day of high school. Oh my gosh. Yes, yeah. Oh my gosh. Shoot, and I've told you this, but other than my dad, he's my all-time favorite. Just the, the man in the relationship and the, and the fun we had. Shoot, we had a lot of fun. We laughed. We laughed. The, today, we had the same sense of humor and a sense of when it comes to the football stuff, things that are happening, things guys do, watching tape. And this wasn't a highlight. It wasn't a highlight uh, at all. But I don't know, and I haven't been around many, but that last day, you know, when they let him go, I don't know that there's many places where 60 guys stand up and applaud. You know, I mean, I, it, you know, I don't know if you say there's a good, uh, you know, get let go speech, but it was, it was that, that to me said it all. Ah, uh, it was a hard day. It was a hard day. Uh, that group, you know, they were really, really committed. You know, we did we did a lot of good things, and some things got in the way that kept us from being as successful as both of us wanted to be. And now my only uh, regret, and it's to me, it's the organization. Uh, we didn't we didn't take care of Philip. With you know, you let Vincent Jackson leave, you let Sproles leave, you let Colbert leave. You don't replace the left tackle. You're, you know, to be great at the position, you still need people around you that our elite players. You know, we didn't find a way to keep them and that's, that, I don't think that was fair to Philip. and he's, to his credit, he's never complained and he's always, okay, next guy, let's, you know, make him better and let's find a way to be successful with him. Uh, but, but you can't argue with the production. I coached against your dad. I was a young coach at USC and he was here at Michigan. Missing, yeah, and uh, it's amazing how so many good coaches, their fathers coached. You yeah. Know, and you're, you're a great example. You grow up John with Harbaugh. Your around it. And, uh, yeah, your, your brother. I mean, I had some, we've had some great minutes with him. It's all I ever wanted to do, watching my dad uh, when I was growing up. I wanted to play football as long as I could and then coach and then die. I just, I wanted to be just like my dad. It's really great for me because I can get my football fixed through a lot of different ways. You know, I'm not, not coaching right now, but uh, being able to be here and talk to Ron about what they're doing in Carolina and all yeah. the different things, it's, it's a lot of fun. Love when you come by, you always, you always drop some nuggets. You know, there's always a, you know, a nugget that you drop and just like, uh, you see it just fall out of your back pocket <laughs> and we just pick it up as, as you walk by. I've been in situations where there's just a lot of a lot of conflict in terms of what you should do in the offseason, you know, who you should sign, uh, evaluating your own team, and it, that part got to me to be very frustrating. So I didn't miss any of that. Now I will miss the season. It's a lot of fun, and uh, you know, the competition and the the week to week getting ready for a new team. There's there's nothing like it. Uh, off-season stuff got got a little bit old. There's not a day that goes by that I don't reflect back on you know what happened with those teams, championship teams, the best team. If you think about that Cowboy team in the early '90s, three Super Bowls in four years, that's the best of the best. You know, Norv's influence was just huge on all of us and you know I said this earlier that you know a lot of people 
you know, Norv gets a lot of credit for getting Troy's career going and Emmett and Michael and all these guys who have yellow jackets uh, now. But for me, I was hanging on by a, by a thread uh, as a quarterback. I just was trying to hang on and be an NFL player. And, you know, what he was able to do for me just to kind of teach me how to play, how to think about the game, how to think about the position, show me how to do it, coach me uh, through Troy and Burline and the other guys that were around. You know, it just the experience was invaluable, and uh, his influence is all over our football team right now. Oh, the energy! You know, the energy. Pra practice if you're coaching. Uh, a two-hour practice feels like it goes by in 15 minutes. If you're standing there watching, it feels like it's four hours. The season is very, very demanding. Uh, and when the season's over, it takes a while to, to recover. It really does between the, the hours, the travel, the stress, the games, all the things involved. So, you know, I didn't have to go through that this, this year in terms of that recovery part. And, uh, you know, you find you have more time to do things for yourself. Some of our guys were in there at 5.30. Well, I, I was a five in the morning guy and, and Philip would lift in the morning. I'd always go down and see him. But then there's a defensive, there's the group of defensive guys who lift. I would spend a half hour in the weight room sure. on Thursday mornings around. and just, hey, what do you think? Uh, you know, what, Eric, well, what do you think of this guy? Or what do you, and, uh, you know, a couple of guys make sure they weren't too hungover in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I hear look you. At, get a good look in, <laughs> at their eyes right. and their face, and make sure Absolutely. they were going to be able to manage the day. That's a good point, um, just being around the guys, you know, just communicating with them. That's something that you, know, you just want to be mindful of. That's one of the things I always respected so much about your offenses is that you guys always had your staple of plays that you guys executed at at such a high level, but then you had nice compliments off of it, but there was a clear-cut identity. Ultimately, you can only be really be good at some a, a certain amount of things. Sure. It would take a real unique situation for me to go back and coach. Uh, you know, I love the coaching. I love the competition. I love helping players grow and improve and and you know reach the potential they have. But it's uh, you know it's there's a lot there's a lot of things involved other than that. So it would have to be. Uh, a, a real unique situation for me to want to go do it again.